Hi everyone. Today I'm going to answer a question that someone has sent to me and it is around the awakening of the womb. So this woman sent a beautiful letter to me which I'm going to read to you the question and then I will give the answer. Just as a little bit of background, um, in my recent video I spoke about activating all the energy centers in the body and if we notice that certain areas struggle to feel, that's where the work is needed. So this woman wrote me this letter from the other side of the world and I'm really grateful for it because it's a very, very, very good question. So let me read the question. Dear Leon, I appreciate your channel on YouTube. I've begun to watch much, most of your videos. There are lots of videos about um, the awakening of the Yoni as well. I have a quick question for you. I've been working for a couple of years um, with my womb and the pelvic, pelvic floor and pleasure. And after a couple of years, I finally got that I need and wait and listen and ask permission and really hold this sacred area with the reverence and curiosity and playfulness, with reverence, curiosity and playfulness. But I really started to do that, just thinking long pauses and listening and moving very slowly and talking to that. I will only have no pressure to make anything happen, but just be curious and explore with the utmost respect, tenderness, and love. Ooh, you are do so doing the right things. Ooh. Beautiful. Right. As I've been doing mapping and, mapping and exploring and feeling all the areas on, of my own that I've never felt before in these areas, when I'm, what I'm, in, when I'm experiencing now, though my question, very tender, gentle exploration of some pleasure, right? You're taking note of exploration of pleasure. I sat for a long time listening and feeling, feeling pleasure and just moving through the womb and actually just be there with the feeling. And then, and my room, but I think it's and my womb, as much as it needs to feel everything. Very fantastic. That was a couple of days ago. And since then, I feel this gentle, non-consistent, almost like a rumbling in my lower womb right above the pelvic bone. And it radiates to the hip a little bit. In it, there's no consistency, except it happens at various times of the day. It feels like it's like a vibration or most gentle eruption of a radio wave. <laughs> and in my lower abdomen, oh, I feel you. I'm just wondering if you've ever heard of anything like this. I'm an ecstatic dancer and I do yoga. And she's studied Emily Conrad, who I don't know, and I'll, I'd love to go and look, look up her stuff. So I have a lot of energetic openings in my body, she says. I'm beginning to explore the way that is permission-based, like this inner dialogue. I do come from a traumatic background in my early childhood. I've done 30 years of therapy. So I have a little fear around the sensation at first. It was just kind of, at first I was just kind of excited about it, but it was like a voice waking up in me. But I have a little fear around it and was wondering if you could give me any feedback around this or this is anything you've ever heard of. Thank you so much. Okay, so let me answer your question. It's a very good question. So you've done a lot of work and the yoga and the dancing helps with the inner awareness of the body. And now you've started to bring this awareness into your lower chakra, um, your pelvic floor. We can say yoni and womb and vagina. And we need to take in regard that you had trauma as a young child. And I hear you when you say there's a fear around this feeling that you're starting to feel. So what you are feeling is so real. It is your life 
inside yourself that you are allowing to flow back into you from your inside. Okay? Now that sensation of pleasure, because it's early childhood trauma, can trigger all kinds of confusing emotions. Okay? Because of the trauma and because you were so young. So, let me just feel into the answer. So, first of all, I think the way that you are with your body is sacred. This internal conversation, what can I feel, it's permission-based. And with this permission-based, and I think that's an important aspect of what you mentioned, with this permission-based, you are allowing yourself to drop deeper into yourself because you are giving yourself permission. So you are really holding a safe space for yourself to start feeling without anybody else being there. So you are starting to create like a safe space for your body to come back into itself. Okay. So now you are starting to feel this vibration, awakeness sensation you are starting to feel inside yourself and that is perfect that is perfect so i want to keep giving you the support from your inside to keep waking up this chakra with safety so that you feel safe so keep doing this on your own that is fantastic when you are with your own body permission based like you say holding yourself safe and allowing yourself to feel like you said in your in your letter to feel as much as possible and the healing is in the feeling and there could be some emotions there so when we speak about pleasure we sometimes think pleasure is like yippee yay woo, light hearted but the way I see pleasure is when, when we start opening our bodies to pleasure, there is a certain softening and allowing ourselves to feel more. Pleasure is basically ability to open yourself to the full experience. That's how I see it. So the, the word pleasure can be confusing. So pleasure is simply the fullness of feeling. That's how I see it. Okay. So if some difficult emotions come up in that feeling, you can allow them. If it is rage, tears, whatever, just feel them. It's cool. Just feel while you're holding safe space for yourself. So this is a very good vibration that you're starting to feel. And we want to encourage you to feel more of this vibration because this vibration is free from the trauma. This is your original DNA, unscathed, unscathed. So I have this image of almost like our DNA that we restore from the inside, okay, by feeling the inside. So you can imagine a strand of DNA through your body also connected to your lower chakra where you're feeling this beautiful aliveness okay and from the inside we're just strengthening the strand of dna within you that is full of life and light and you can if this feels right for you just feel into it you can feel all your chakras and feel that this aliveness, this vibration, is speaking to the vibration in the rest of your body, which is incredibly strong. So there's little wounding here. This is strong. With your yoga, your dancing, you connect to your body. And then breathe and feel that a stream of light through the central column of your body, meeting this lower vibration. And like you say, sacred life. And you can just feel it like a DNA strand remembering who it is, the whole 
unscathed. And at, in the beginning, it might be a very gentle vibration. You might feel that you're just imagining it. Imagining this sensation of light through the body. And you can meditate on that and even touch your body. And keep meditating on the light flowing right through your body. Connecting all your energy centers and flowing free, free through you. So this vibration that you're feeling is a beautiful awakening of life within you. And it's sacred and I honor it. And I honor you for figuring out how to access it. So the answer is to find a way to help you to be safe. To allow yourself to feel because you can feel you're starting to connect with yourself. And when you truly, fully connect with yourself, you feel this power of aliveness. I believe in you. I see the light in you. And thank you for recognizing the light in yourself.